Thanks a lot, uh, Wesley So and uh, Sergei Karyakin for joining us after this uh, quite long tie-break match, which went until the Blitz uh, games. Um, perhaps the first question about the four rapid games, which seemed uh, very quiet, as if not too much was happening. Um, perhaps the first comment about this, uh, Wesley. Oh, me? Okay. Well, um, yeah, well, we were trying both with the white pieces. But thing is, we have very similar repertoire against one e4. So, um, I mean, Sergey has played uh, hundreds of games with the Berlin with black, so it's very difficult to find something that is uh, quite unusual. And uh, and with white, he tried also the Berlin and the Giuco piano. But the Giuco piano, I prepared this new move, king h8. So, I guess the final position was also approximately equal. But overall, I mean, uh, a very very tough match and it's not easy to to get anything out of the opening i think that's one of the reasons why we have so many draws yeah then uh, of course the blitz game changed uh, the rhythm completely you know, especially in the first uh, first game with a with a, what we can call a blunder and then you decided to give up your queen um it seems the position was winning but perhaps not that easily uh sergey yeah, well, I, I feel a bit pity because for the first time in this tournament I played very precisely in the opening. I remembered all the moves, bishop g4, e4, and, <laughs> and finally I lost. But uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, at the beginning I thought it should be just very close to be winning, but in fact uh, the, the position in the blitz, the position is playable. I mean, of course, black, black should not lose, black, uh, black is better, but, uh, but it's not easy to play. Uh, were you optimistic or pessimistic after you gave up the queen, Wesley? No, well, uh, I wasn't. I just forgot d4, bishop g4, because uh, yeah, I was expecting h6 instead of rook e8. I got after rook 8 maybe I should play h3. Mm -hmm. Or because after d4, bishop g4, I realized that I ran into some bad. Some bad no, no, but still, uh, still, it's, it's not, it's nothing. So, nothing. Uh, uh, I mean, the position is approximately equal, but just uh, there are some precise moves from the both sides. Yeah, I think I, I also didn't expect knight e3, knight e5. But yeah, knight e5 yeah. was good, yes. And then after knight e5, you probably have to take. Otherwise, it's uh, yeah. Yeah, knight. So okay, I have get the bishop pair and a, a pawn or two for, for the queen. And for the blitz game, anything goes. So yeah, blitz game, you can get a winning position, but if you make one blunder, then you can completely turn the, the tables. And uh, well, the second blitz, uh, of course, it's always kind of uh, very difficult uh, against some so solid players uh, as Wesley so almost mission is impossible. But uh, in blitz game, everything is, is always possible, isn't it? And you work very close. Well, I was trying, but uh, the problem was, first of all, that I played terribly in the opening because I wanted to avoid some main lines, but like like what I did <laughs> was better to play main lines. But uh, but then somehow Wesley uh, didn't win immediately. I mean, Black was winning many times, I think. And uh, and then uh, then probably I, w uh, probably I was winning, but uh, well... I didn't find, but but still, I mean, I, I, even if Engine shows the winning for me in the Blitz games, the game was going on and uh, like it was f far from from the end. Well, thank you very much, and uh, well, good luck, Wesley, so for the uh, the rest of the tournament. Yeah, thank you. It's been a super super tough match for me, and uh, even my win with White Pieces was totally unexpected. So uh, yeah, it's been a great match, and I learned a lot. Thank you.